And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you your chat profile, where to upload a resume, and how to search for a job. So once you log into Access UH and you click that Cougar Pathway icon, you will be here. This is your home page. And on the home page at the very top, you're going to see something that says something along the lines of, because you favorited this job, we are recommending these jobs. But say it's your first time in the system and it only knows your major, it'll say, because other people with your major have looked at these jobs. So right at the, before you even do a search, it's going to be recommending positions to you based on what information that you give it. Um, again, if you see things that you're really excited about, you can hit this star and it'll, oops, sorry, the star and that'll favorite it. But if say there's a job that you're not interested in, you can thumbs it down and it'll go away and it'll remember that for the future. So that is a great way to start customizing it to show positions that are specifically relevant for you. The first step I would recommend is going into your profile on the this left hand side. And in your profile, it's going to want you, it will have your name, but say that you don't go by your legal name, you can add a preferred name in here. You can add your bachelor's, your major, uh, when you anticipate to graduate, your GPA, and all of this is going to do is help when kind of sort out the system to start recommending to you uh, jobs based on that information that you share with it. Um, no, an employer will not see this unless you choose to publish it right here. And so as long as this is off, an employer won't see this information. So don't worry about putting in your GPA and then being able to see that. If you want them to see it, you want to upload a picture and put information in, then you could hit publish. So once you are done with your profile, you could go into click jobs. And the first thing that you see underneath it is the word search. So once you click search, this is going to show you everything in the system, full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs. And what you can do is you can enter a word. And so say we had someone in here who's a marketing major. So we can put in marketing and say you wanted to stay local in Houston because you're taking some classes this summer. And you can say how far of a distance you would be willing to go from Houston and then hit search. So what we see is that there are 82 options. That's a lot of jobs to go through to see which ones are relevant for you. So what I would recommend is using these filters. So under position type, say you're not looking for a full-time job right now. You're looking for an internship or a part-time job. You can click on on-site internships, paid or unpaid, virtual remote internships, paid or unpaid, and micro internships, which are really shorter versions of internships that are very project based and have maybe they're only a few weeks or months. And then you can even look at on campus non college work study jobs. So maybe we want to start there first. So well, let's go from 80 and see how many we have now 25. That feels a lot more manageable to start going through. So you can scroll down and see, you know, student life is looking for a marketing assistant. So if that is something you're interested in, you could come over here and star it. So say that you're really interested in this first job, let's click it and see what information we can find out about this job. We said it, we see that it's on campus, it's non-college work study. We can see the desired skills that they are looking for, and they added a description for us. And I would recommend reading all of the duties and qualifications associated with it. Over here, you can find important dates. So you see that it was posted on April 25th and it closes on June 14th. So that's pretty soon. So you would know, oh, you know what? I need to make sure that I move and I apply to this quickly because it's going to be closing soon. And then you can see that they're looking for people with a bachelor's degree and you can see all the different types of majors that they're interested in and the classification. If you're interested in applying right then, then you can hit the red apply button. Another thing I wanted to show you is that sometimes when you are doing a search, you'll see this red box next to the title of the job and it'll say not qualified. So as soon as this loads, there we go. So see, we see graduate marketing assistant, not qualified. And you may see that on some other things, but say that maybe you're really, really interested in videography and you wanna know, okay, why am I not qualified for this? I recommend clicking on it. 
And then on the right hand side under important dates, it will let you know why you're not qualified. So this says your graduation date does not fall within the desired range for this position and your major is not among, among those listed. So you can actually scroll down. And so it is looking for current students, um, bachelors and masters with a graduation date between May 2021 and December 2023. But say you had originally anticipated to graduate um, with in that, or you didn't initially uh, plan to graduate within that time, but your graduation date got pushed back. So don't forget to go in and adjust those dates if you do qualify, but maybe it just didn't, um, it doesn't know your updated information. So keeping your profile up to date is important. And so say that you are not a business major, but you're actually a business minor, and you think that you would be qualified for this position, but they don't have that listed. I would recommend reaching out to UH or UH at, uh, sorry, the email address, UCS at UH.edu. So I'll say it again. So if you are looking around and you're not seeing it, I would reach out, email University Career Services at UCS at UH.edu. And you can say, hi, I'm, um, I am interested in this position. And you can give us the position number, um, which is up here. And you can let us know like the name of it and say, I'm a business minor. There is in the system, it says a business mi uh, major, but I think I'm qualified. I have a lot of these skills that it's looking for. Um, can we figure that out? Because employers are the people who are filling this in. And sometimes they'll miss a major uh, when they're clicking on things. So sometimes it's an accident uh, that you are showing up as not qualified. So always follow up. And also say that you're not interested in videography, but you are interested in working at First Community Credit Union. You can follow them. And as they update other things, uh, you might find um, opportunities and we'll make sure that you know about those first. And if you want to start straight away for on-campus jobs, you can click on that and then it'll automatically filter to just on-campus jobs. So there is the opportunity to go straight into that. All right, um, say you are interested in applying to that marketing assistant job and you want to upload a resume for it so you can apply. So you'll go under documents, my documents. And this is where you can upload a new one. So you'll see this add new. So you can add new. And this is where I recommend putting your name. So for me, if it was Jamie Gonzalez, and this is um, student life marketing. So I might call it SL marketing resume. And so then that way I can differentiate them from other ones that I might be applying to later. So then I'll have that it's marked as a resume. I can choose my file to upload it. You can make notes for yourself on it. And what I like here is that you can promote, we, you can ask us to specifically promote you to employers. And so if you want to actively have employers see your resume and reach out to you, um, you would click this button, yes, promote me to my employers using this resume and hit submit. So that is a little bit about how to set up your profile, how to search for jobs, and once you find jobs that you're interested in applying for, how to upload that resume.